So I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite buildings in all of downtown Reno. The one behind me is actually pretty cool. This is the Pioneer Center for Performing Arts. It's this big uh, golden dome and the uh, theater is underground. But the one I wanna show you is this awesome uh, post office. So these are some of the types of things that I love to look at. Um, you see this cool, like sort of uh, tin and aluminum art here. You just don't see this anywhere. You know, it's got a very metropolitan feel to it. Some of the things that I pay attention to when I'm working on dioramas is the intersection of different materials. You know, you see here you have this, this column that's actually this thick. It's actually this thick going all the way through. You have different facades on the outside on the inside, but that's the connective tissue between the windows, paying attention to how things are layered, paying attention to the detail and where it's put, different things that create interest, you know, and having a style. This has got very much an art deco turn of the century uh, type of feel to it. And then you look at the beautiful, beautiful uh, Greek key pattern here you have going around the door and this awesome color of this uh, stonework. It's actually like a minty green uh, color. And then creating stuff like this, you see all these vertical lines, you know, creating this repeating patterns and stuff like that it really, really helps to sell uh, beauty and design. You know, it's funny, I know a lot of people have this experience, but I definitely did where you're growing up somewhere and you kind of hate the place uh, when you're growing up or you always want to be somewhere that you think is better because you're comparing it to other places that you've been and have good memories. But uh, I've had a, the experience here where um, as I've grown up, I've discovered more and more here that I actually like that is uh, not necessarily big things, but small things, you know, maybe places to eat, um, places to go visit, small little uh, gems of places in and outside of town that makes you uh, happy you have them. I just love design, I always have. And so growing up walking around, cause I had to walk around pretty much everywhere when I was growing up and ride my bike, you tend to notice little things that other people would otherwise never see. And they could be things as simple as the way a door was built or the way a building was constructed, the, the color of some brick um, or, or how the corner of a building intersected that made you kind of appreciate that somebody had to think that through, somebody had to put that together, and somebody cared about it. And those little nods to things always made me um, feel like I could be equipped to do similar things. Growing up in a town like
like this, watching it change, having to be on your feet all the time, looking at things, you notice things, you see things, and you learn to appreciate things that may have otherwise seemed boring and pointless to other people, um, but it actually becomes inspiration for you, and you wonder how it's put together, you wonder who made it, you wonder why they designed it that way, and then it starts getting the wheels turning in your head, and um, and you start, you start to think about those things, and then you start to create on your own. So anybody who feels like they're stuck in a rut or they're bored or there's nothing interesting around them, try to make note of the smaller things. I'll show you guys a shot of the alley that inspired some of the miniature alley that I built. Uh, just as an example, walking around and looking at things that you would otherwise pay absolutely no attention to ended up becoming the specific inspiration for one of the walls in my 112 scale alley that I built um, for Eric Studdard, and if you're not checking out his work, he does great shots. Uh, he's he's done a lot of Batman and Darth Vader stuff. It has been an awesome day to come out here and do this, by the way. It's absolutely beautiful out here. Um, there's a breeze, and I actually had to hold my diorama uh, a couple of times because the breeze was strong. It was kind of pushing on a little bit, but uh, as soon as the sun comes back out, the breeze seems to die down. But it is an absolutely fabulous temperature out here in Reno today which is not normal. <laughs> Reno's either too hot or too cold. I really love the way pieces look in the harsh sunlight because you get these realistic cast shadows like this. Even on small areas like the roof here, things just start to look a lot more hyper real when you take it out into the direct sunlight. My philosophy has always kind of been, if you can paint it in the brightest light in your shop and then take it out in the sun and it still looks real or close to real, You've done a good job because when sometimes when you bring stuff out into the bright sun it starts to show all the flaws and all the things that you thought looked good in your uh, interior um, you know electric lighting and uh, it starts to look less real but when you cast those real shadows on it you can see um, it really really sells the illusion of here this corbel um, it's magnetic because um, I need to get this just this piece is one flat piece in shipping and uh, obviously these stick up and below so trying to package this safely without this breaking was impossible so I realized I just needed to make it magnetic so we've got a magnet um, right here that goes through to a magnet that's embedded under this foam and if I do it correctly it sits right there same thing with the one on this side. Comes off, goes right on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed everything I had to say about this piece and about um, Reno. Um, you know, this is really my passion. I love design. I love designing anything. It doesn't matter if it's uh, a cell phone or a building or uh, a landscape or um, a book, you know, anything. I love the shape and design of anything. It's, I like to create, you know. So.